I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How you doing today? Here I am in the Oakland section of Pittsburgh. Stop that noise. Thank you. And it's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. And I'm here to do a video about one of my favorite persons ever, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol, one of the most famous artists of the 60s, 70s, 80s. And to this day, probably one of the most well-known artists ever. And here, now I'm gonna do a, a video, I'm gonna include parts of his life in, in Pittsburgh and show you something really special. And I'm gonna intercut maybe some, uh, with some stories, because I'm, I have been obsessed with Andy Warhol. It's one of my obsessions. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that there's certain things that I'm obsessed with. Eminem, uh, uh, filming locations, very, you know, famous graves, stuff like that. But Andy Warhol, literally since I was really really little just I thought he was just the most fascinating person and I'm obsessed with the uh, New York City club culture from the 70s so Studio 54 very obsessed with that place anyway so but this is right now this here this is the house that Andy Warhol lived in from 1934 until 1949 right here this is where he grew up There you go, right there. This is the house right here with the uh, satellite dish there. Now it was remained empty for uh, about 10 years from 1998 on. And now I guess somebody else bought it. I thought that the Warhol family had purchased it again. That is what I read online, but it doesn't seem like it. That they were gonna turn it into some sort of uh, you know, like a shrine, memorial to Andy Warhol, but it doesn't look like they have. So in this building, right in this little house here, this is where Andy learned to draw. It's where he learned to take pictures. In the basement, his brother Paul taught him how to use a camera. And they had a dark room down there. And then upstairs, he was sick for a while as a kid, so he had to stay home from school. And his mother, who is a good uh, painter and drawer herself, taught him how to draw upstairs in one of those bedrooms. So his father, Andre, 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 it's hard to pronounce because there's a J at the end, uh, chose this house. They lived in about five different houses when Andy was born in Pittsburgh back in 1928. They lived in about five different houses. It was the Great Depression, so they moved around a bit and then they finally settled in this place, but his father chose this place because it was close to a Catholic church and a school. Now, both of Andy's schools, Holmes Elementary and uh, his high school, starts with SCH, uh, SCH something, are gone. I looked up the high school. Like the, the elementary school, uh, you can't find it. And the high school looks like it's being rebuilt and it's in a different location down the street. Hard to tell. So, I'm not going to be going to either of his schools. You know, what else can I tell you about this uh, house? Well, it's a very uh, modest house in a cool little funky neighborhood. But yeah, this is where Andy got his start. There's a famous picture of his family right there on the porch. I'll show you. Right there. Yeah, 
yeah, little Andy would play here, draw here, create here, and then he left for Carnegie University, and then eventually New York City. All right, now we're gonna go somewhere really cool to do with Andy. Some place that I've always wanted to go, and I'm finally getting the chance to go. All right, I gotta get a coffee, I gotta wake up. Let's go to the next location that has to do with Andy Warhol. The greatest artist of the 20th century, the greatest artist of all time, one of the greatest artists of all time, all three of those. Can it be all three? Yes, it can. All right, let's go. Here's where I parked. That's the Andy Warhol Bridge. That's what it's called. And why is it called that? Well, we're in Pittsburgh. It also, it leads directly to... The Andy Warhol Museum. And I'm taking you inside. Let's take a look at what's in here. I don't think they have the Eight Elvises, which is one of his most famous paintings. It was sold for over $100 million. It's one of the most valuable paintings in the world. So there's a lot packed into this museum. I'm gonna show you some of his early photographs of his family. We're gonna look at his silk screen paintings. You're gonna see his rise from the 60s, 70s, 80s. He's a commercial artist, a commercial illustrator. He was first hired by Glamour Magazine when he moved to New York City. Then he, became, got, he was making 70 grand in the 50s as a commercial artist. He was really, really successful fast. And then he started his factories. That's what they were called, where he would produce his art, his films. I'm gonna show you all sorts of stuff. Then he did it in the 70s, celebrity photographs. That's when he got in the whole Studio 54 scene. Stop it, bus. And we are gonna see so much about Andy Warhol. A little trip through his life right now.
So how cool was that? Halfway through, I realized I wasn't, uh, I couldn't take video. So I switched to pictures. But that still looks pretty cool, huh? Very cool. The Andy Warhol Museum. Now I'm gonna take you somewhere else to do with Andy Warhol. Final place we're going today. Come along. All right, so here we are at St. John the Baptist Cemetery. Now, if you're coming out here to see Andy Warhol's final resting place, it is a bit of a trek and you're gonna drive, I was here about five years ago in the middle of the night. This is one of the only cemeteries that I've ever been to where it's open all the time, there's no fence. But this driveway is the entrance in and you'll miss it. I missed it about three times that time. And this time I knew what I was looking for. But it's hard to see. There's no sign, there's no marking even that it's a cemetery. You can't tell from the street. I look for this blue angel here in this little building. And they go up the hill, and I'm gonna show you exactly where he is. Where Andy's resting eternally. Um, and it's more, one of the more interesting graves, as you'll see. There's something cool that's right behind it, while well, facing it. We'll see. All right, take a look there. Look at this view. Now, there's more graves down there. And there's a bunch of graves all the way along the road. So it's a very small cemetery. But you're gonna wanna look here when you come in. On your left as you drive up the hill. You see this? These are cameras. They're not security cameras though. They're earth cams. And 24 seven, 365 days a year, they are pointed at Andy Warhol's grave. Right over there. You can click on earth cam right now Andy War and search Andy Warhol's grave and you can see it live. Now you won't see me because by the time you're watching this, I'll be out of the area. But yeah. Isn't that cool? So that's a very easy way to know that you're in the right spot. Let's go right up here. As you can see, people come out here and leave a lot, a lot of stuff. Soup cans. Shells, a lot of soup cans. Cool looking flowers. Isn't that really awesome? Andy Warhol, August 6, 1928 to February 22nd, 1987. He died of complications from gallbladder surgery in New York. Now he was shot by Valerie Salanis, I believe her name is, when he didn't read her play. He mistakenly put it in that silver trunk that's featured earlier in the uh, art gallery and forgot about it. She came to one of his factories furious and she shot him. Now. He suffered from those wounds the rest of his life. They created um, discomfort, but it was actually gallbladder surgery complications from that is how he passed away. And right behind here, this is his mother and father. So the pronunciation is Andrew, mother Julia. Now, when I was coming in, I didn't notice this last time, but I noticed it this time. There's another Warhol over here. So let's see who this is. Oh, this would be his older brother. This is uh, John Warhol. He had two brothers, John and Paul. So right here to right over there. Infant Gregory, June 16th, 1955. That's so sad. I believe his older, or his, one of his, yeah, this is one of his older brothers. The other older brother, Paul, is still alive and living here in Pittsburgh. those cameras so 
So yeah, I love Andy Warhol. I think he's one of the greatest uh, artists of all time. I kind of glossed over a little bit of his career. He had a lengthy one. Sadly, he didn't live that long of a life, but what a huge impact he had. I encourage you to watch maybe a documentary about him. There's, a, there's many, and you can watch them right here on YouTube. Uh, so many books about him, and you can see all of his artwork. Now he started out, just like I said, as a graphic artist, commercial artist, then started doing his own thing. Pop art was big in England, and Andy pretty much brought it over to the United States and started launched that movement of pop art. And uh, then he moved into movies. He managed the Velvet Underground, the band uh, with Lou Reed. He really did it all. Okay, so from St. John the Baptist Cemetery here in, this is, what is this part of the town called Mount Shannon? I can't remember what part of Pittsburgh this is now. I was close, Castle Shannon, Castle Shannon. Okay, Andy, rest in peace, my man. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. I didn't bring a soup can, but Andy's getting two rocks.